All right, this is SCT prep. We're doing test one, section three, and this is number nine. Uh, so we're given a system of equations. Uh, which of the, uh, what is the solution in x, y to the system of equations above? So honestly, you could solve this or you could just plug in answers uh, and see what works, right? Um, so it is a little bit of a trick here that they, they uh, switched your x and your y. So this would be negative x plus two y if you were putting this in order. Um, so it's completely fine to solve. I don't know that solving is necessarily the best option here. I think there's a good argument to be made for just plugging in values, right? So um, what I need for a solution to work is I need it to work in both of these equations, right? So I could arguably uh, just do each equation, right? Um, so this is one and then here's the other, right? Uh, and I could plug in the values and see if I get a true statement. And if I do, then, then that is a solution to that particular equation. I'm looking for the one of these four that is a solution to both. So let's go ahead and try the negative five, negative two, right? Uh, negative five would make this a negative 15, negative two would make this a negative eight, negative 15 and negative eight is a negative 23, right? Here I'd get a negative of a negative five, which is a positive five, and I would get a negative four, so that's a no, right? So it's not the first one, right? Uh, if I try the second one, so three comma negative eight, well, three times three would be nine, right? Uh, four times negative eight is a negative 32, right? Um, and uh, that does not, it does work. Sorry, my bad, my bad. My brain is tragic sometimes. Yep, so that works. Okay, it's negative 23. Uh, when I plug in the three here, I get a negative three. When I plug in the negative eight, I get a negative 16. Hey, that's a negative 19 and there's my answer. The answer is B, right? And that's it, right? So, so that's the easiest option. Um, the other way to do this is you could solve, right? You could actually solve this thing and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, I think there's an argument to made that it's easier to just plug and check and you want something that works for both of the equations. If you chose to solve, the easiest way to solve is to probably use uh, either substitution or elimination, right? Um, I'm a big fan of elimination. You could easily solve for this solo x by adding it over and moving the 19, right? So, um, so if you chose to use substitution, you would probably do it by moving the x over. So you get uh, 2y uh, plus a 19 equals x, and then you would plug that in here. So you would get uh, 3 times this 2y plus 19 plus 4y is a negative 23. Right? And if you do that, you're going to get 6y plus 57 plus 4y uh, equals negative 23. Right? So you're going to get 10y. Uh, when I subtract the 57 over, I should get a negative 80. And there's my y is negative 8. And that is enough for me to narrow it down to the right answer. Right? Uh, you could also use elimination. Again, uh, it doesn't matter to me how you solve. It doesn't matter to the SAT how you solve. Uh, if you chose to use elimination, you probably would have multiplied this negative x plus 2y equals negative 19. You would have probably multiplied that by a 3, right? So you'd get negative 3x uh, plus 6y equals negative 57. And when you add straight down, there's your 10y equals negative 80 again. And again, you get y is a negative 8, right? So again, you get the same answer. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to get to that spot in the problem, certainly, uh, but that's, that's the idea. So uh, there you go.